This is a continuation of my look at this UGEB Ream Rood Furnace. Uh, in my first video I had, I saw what I thought was three cracks with just a visual inspection. Now I'm going to take a look at the heat exchanger tubes and let's see how many cracks were really in this furnace. Okay, now remember, when I first looked at this furnace, I found two obvious cracks in it, and I was pretty sure of a third. Now, this was not a real extensive look. I didn't use a camera or anything in there, but uh, when I tore this thing apart, this is what I found. Now, I'm going to show each one of these you know, fairly close up here, and uh, we're going to determine the number of cracks in these things. This one here had this obvious one that I saw right there. Here's another one here, and here's another one here. Same tube, another crack here, and uh, two cracks here. Okay. Here you can see this was the obvious crack I saw. Another two cracks right here in the same spot here. Shockingly, this one has only one right there. This one here, another crack in that pretty much that same spot. Two cracks here, a little bitty one there, one right here. Other side, another two cracks right here and right there. Last one. A crack here and here, and a crack here, and kind of a hairline one here, pretty long, same place as a lot of them were, was right there, and right there. This one, this side here, just has a very small one right there. So, what's the conclusion? This thing had one pile of cracks in it, it had a total of 15 cracks in it. I found three with a short visual inspection. This thing produced absolutely no CO gas in the air uh, flow. I checked CO throughout the heat exchanger as I was testing it. I tested it under high static conditions and lower static conditions. The only change was the higher static conditions made the upset flame that I showed you in that one video and it produced massive amounts of CO in the vent, but nothing in the airflow. This thing was busted every which way but loose and still did not produce any CO. Am I saying you should leave a heat exchanger in with 15 cracks? I don't think so. Uh, you never know what could happen the next day. So, what's the end result of all this stuff? It's really hard to find all the cracks in a heat exchanger. Now, you might have been able to find them with a smoke test. Uh, camera, maybe. I may do one, put a camera inside these tubes to see if I can find them. A uh, light test sometimes helps, although it's not definitive for cracks that haven't opened up. So, all I'm telling you is uh, it's not as simple as you might think. Cracks and heat exchangers can cause all kinds of things, can be all sorts of ways, but they don't necessarily all follow the same rules. So I guess that's it, at least for now, on the Ream heat exchanger.